You're telling us about meeting um, the inmates one on one. One, one on one. What yeah. can you just relay some of your experiences? Yeah, some of my experiences were in 2009 when I started, okay. you know, going into the prisons. You know, these inmates, they they watch you. They were just looking at me like, okay, have you? Are you like the other people that just walk in here and just make promises and they don't keep to their promises? On okay. you know, they were watching from a distance. But over time, you know, I discovered that they started losing it up a little bit. You know, for me to be able to help inmates, you know, I needed. I needed them to like be able to trust me so over the years I've been trying to build trust you know now inmates they see me trust me you don't even want to imagine you know you don't even want to imagine the relationship between me and inmates you know they see me like their fellow brother because okay. I've made them realize that the situation you are is not the last you okay. know this is not a final boss there's always a second chance yeah and I'm so proud of some of the musicians when they come into the prison mm. they don't go all oh, I'm a diva okay or all oh, I'm a, you know like um, I remember Chidima yeah. during X mass in prison you know Chidima was performing she was on stage but off she goes pop into the midst of the image you know she was just she was no longer scared she was not afraid okay. you know that they were all men and all she was in their middle dancing i'm like okay <laughs> <laughs> that's good <laughs> you that's, know that's and a couple of musicians dj w4 you okay. know everybody but, but you know from from speaking with them how much information do you think gets to them day by day i heard some of them um have gsm phones some of them have got radio some of them even call radio stations i don't know how far anyway yeah. but you know don't they get to like read get on the internet um, you know? presently i I'll, I'll be very sincere with you okay. that part of the prisons i don't really um i don't really know but one thing i'm very sure about okay. is there is so much security mm -hmm. that even me that i organize concert in the prison when i'm about going in i can't even go in with my phone okay you know if there is that much security and i can actually tell you that all those are just gist around okay you understand because mm -hmm. i've experienced it all the musicians you know some of them just go like ah, Lambo, what if anything goes wrong i'm like nothing will go wrong it's oh. just the rules and regulation of the system you drop your phone before you get in okay yeah. but you've actually been made an ambassador to yeah. the prisons. <laughs> you know sometimes and when you start something you okay. know God, you, you man proposes, but God has yes. the final say. You yeah. know, I for me, I'm just trying to do what God has laid in my heart to use music to help inmates. You know, and along the line, I was appointed. I at first I didn't want it because I was like, I, you know, <laughs> I just want my studio, my yeah. stage, and what I'm doing. But over time, I realized that there are some things like God talked about. At least I'm a Christian and I yeah. go to church. You know, where God said, um, Abraham, because when God was talking to Abraham and he said, because of what you have done, I will bless you. Hmm. You know, for me, I just looked at it and said, sometimes because of what we do, God will bless us with even things that we never thought yeah. will come our of way. Course. I never thought in my lifetime.